If you're excited for the 2023 NFL Draft, take a second and hit the like button underneath. I know about you, man. I've been tossing and turning, counting down the days. I can't wait to see what happens early on. I can't wait to see where some of these quarterbacks go. And if you're a little superstitious, if you don't like the video, I'm worried your team might not do so well. What's going on, y'all? I am Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports. And coming up here today on our show, I want to get a little nuts. I want to get a little wild. I got five first round draft trade ideas that I believe could potentially happen. And the reason why I like doing this video is because we see it year in and year out. Trades always happen. And hell, we've already seen one team trade up to number one. It was the Carolina Panthers with the Chicago Bears. So essentially, if you don't exactly know who are all the picks in round one, I am going to walk you through early on here to just give you a little bit of an idea. Like I mentioned, the Bears, they are now at number nine after trading with the Carolina Panthers. We'll be interested to see what teams like the Tennessee Titans could do. Houston's got pick 12 in number two. The Commanders are a team to look at there since they don't have a quarterback. From 17 to 24 is where, to me, I actually think a lot of times people ignore. But like you saw last year, this was the part of the draft that got really, really wild. At least four or five trades ended up happening in that room. And then from 25 to 31, the main thing that you're going to see there is the Miami Dolphins. They had their first round pick forfeited. But the Eagles losing the Super Bowl just paid Jalen Hurts a whole bunch of money. And they got two picks in the first round. Very, very interesting. So I got five trades. Last year, not one, not two. You can do the math. Nine trades happened in round one. This year, I'm going to do a lot of deals around quarterbacks because there's been so much hype about some of these QBs going on early. So we saw nine last year. I'm giving you five examples of crazy trades that could happen. My question to you is this. How many trades are going to end up going down in round one of the 2023 NFL draft. Is there going to be more, less than last season? I'm curious. And if you're new to chat sports, this is what we're about. Content that is free that we want y'all to interact with us. So please, when I ask you something, let me know. Let's go to the first trade idea here. I got the Las Vegas Raiders trading up for a quarterback. And the reason why I have the Raiders going about this route, they tried to trade up to number one with Chicago. Chicago wanted more. Carolina was willing to do it. I know for a fact that the Silver and Black like C.J. Stroud. They like Bryce Young. And if one of those guys is available at number two, look out. If one of those guys is available at three, definitely look out. We've also seen some new reports come out that apparently the Texans are not sold on taking a quarterback. And the NFL is, you know, buddy-buddy league. Nick Casario, Josh McDaniels, and Dave Ziegler all have been together on the Patriots. They played college football together. So if Houston says, hey, we're not going to take a QB at here, I actually think they give the Raiders the first shot. So here's trade idea number one on today's show. The Texans, they get pick number seven. They get a first round pick in 2024. They get a second round pick in 2024. And then I'd make the argument they might have the worst center in all of football. So they get Andre James for the silver and black, somebody who was not drafted by this current regime. With every single trade that I show you, I am going to ask you the simple question of who wins the deal. So it's going to be very important for you to type what you see on screen. That way, when I go back and look at the comments, when producer Seeps goes back and looks at the comments, we know what trade you're talking about and ultimately who you think is the winner. Coming up next here, I have the Raiders trading up for a quarterback at number two. The next deal is going to involve the Tennessee Titans, who have been meeting with all of the top quarterbacks. Before I show you what that trade that Mike Vrabel is going to end up doing, take a second and hit that subscribe button. If you're looking for NFL draft content, this is the channel to go to down below, youtube.com slash chat NFL. Check it out. Over 4,000 subs over there, draft only content. It's kind of like you know, OnlyFans but for draft content. Let's go to the Tennessee Titans now. I got them moving up for a QB as well. One of the most entertaining offenses out there, selfishly from a fantasy football standpoint, because I view Mike Vrabel as being just like a tough dude. Could you imagine a world, let's say Bryce Young goes early, CJ Stroud goes early, and then the Arizona Cardinals, who have just about put a for sale sign up on their front yard, they've been trying to move back from number three, could we see the Titans go up and get Anthony Richardson? I, I mean, I'll tell you this right now. Anthony Richardson 
standing next to Derrick Henry in a backfield, that might be the only scenario where I could see Richardson having success right away. And even if you knew he wasn't going to throw it, how many people out there want to be like, well, shit, I either got to attack Anthony Richardson or Derrick Henry. So in this scenario, that's what the Tennessee Titans do. They move up with the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals, which they're a team that I think that they're going to go in total rebuild mode. So if they can get a first-round pick, you go back, you get a third-round pick, and then according to the trade value chart, it's still going to cost you a little bit more for the 2024. So you got first, a second-round pick the next season. You're stockpiling for the following year. And the Titans, they get their franchise QB because, let's face it, they need one. Ryan Tannehill, Malik Willis, it ain't it. Type T-E-N for the Titans or if you think the Arizona Cardinals win this deal, type A-I-R. Now, for me personally, I am always team trade back. But if you're able to find that franchise QB, then I actually think these trades really do make some sense. Let's go to the next deal here. It's for the Washington Commanders. And I mentioned earlier that I looked at the trade value chart. I'm not just pulling out these values out of my you-know-what. I'm going on Google. You can look up the trade value chart yourself. Now, obviously, everything changes. But when a team moves up for a QB, they usually do have to give up a little bit more. So in this scenario, I got the Commanders going up and trying to get a QB as well. We can talk all we want about quarterbacks going high, but there does seem to be every single year that at least one QB ends up sliding down the board. No disrespect to Sam Howell. I don't view him as a franchise quarterback, and realistically, I don't really think that they do either, right? They draft him in the fifth round. The new owner, he's going to want to make a splash. So let's make a splash here, and I have them trading with the Detroit Lions. Now, when I do all of these trades, I'm trying to think about it is not every trade that I show you obviously is going to happen. In this scenario, let's say a quarterback like Will Levis starts to slide down the board. Maybe an Anthony Richardson slides down the board, and then you got the Las Vegas Raiders who are there at seven. Could the commanders jump Las Vegas right in front of Detroit? And Detroit, this trade, I think actually really works out well for them. You get a first round pick, a second round pick. So yeah, you drop all the way back to 16. But one player that has been continued to link to trade rumors, Montez Sweat. I know Detroit wants to try to build a defense. Aiden Hutchinson, Montez Sweat, that's a hell of a front. And this is the year I think Detroit really truly believes they can take the North. So if this was the trade that ended up going down, what do y'all think wins it? If you're going with the Commanders, give me a WAS. If you think it's the Detroit Lions, type D-E-T. Now, Producer Seeps is a big Vikings guy, so I'm curious what he thinks about this one. I got the Vikings trading up for a quarterback as well. And some of y'all are like, well, time out a second. They're in the 20s. How are they going to move all the way up to get one? Well, if all these quarterbacks go early, let's say there's a legitimate shot that those top four QBs are gone in the top 10. Could Minnesota potentially draft somebody like, I don't know, a Hendon Hooker, who a lot of people probably project to go in round two, but they know that they want to be able to get that quarterback to take over for Kirk Cousins unless somebody wants to pay him another guaranteed contract. But hey, you do you. Also, when I look at Minnesota, I really do believe that they want to get their own guy. Kirk has bounced around the league, and he's a great regular season quarterback. But sooner or later, you got to find your dude, and then maybe you move on from Dalvin Cook, get some extra draft capital. But I know that the Vikings, they don't have a lot to move around, and I know that there's always opportunity out there. The Vikings need a linebacker. The Buccaneers are at pick number 19, and I don't think that they're going to want to pay Devin White. I wouldn't pay him 18 to 20 million either. But Minnesota might some smell some blood in the water as well where the Green Bay Packers are about to lose Aaron Rodgers. The Lions are, I don't know, still the Lions. The Bears had the number one overall pick for a reason. So let's say this. The Vikings, they swap 19 and 23. They get Devin White. And the Buccaneers get a third round pick in 2024. Thoughts? I know. We're getting crazy. And I do think that Devin White probably would go for more. But if the Bucs know that they're not going to pay him, maybe draft day trade could get a little bit nuts. So give me an M-I-N, or do you think that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers end up winning this deal? Luckily for all y'all, if you enjoy this video, we have one more draft trade to get into. And I actually got the Arizona Cardinals making another wild deal here. The way that I look at the NFL, especially during the draft, and I say this all the time on my Raiders show, where there's smoke, there's fire. 
when you see the amount of smoke around Arizona right now with their big time stars, like if they were legitimately trying to win this upcoming season, they're not going to put DeAndre Hopkins on the market. They're not going to have Buda Baker requesting a trade. So when you see that, to me, one of those two star players, I'm a big believer, ends up getting dealt on draft night. Whether it be Hopkins, whether it be Buda Baker, I don't have the exact answer. But to me, if the reports are already coming out that the Cardinals might actually cut Hopkins, wouldn't you at least want to get something for him? And then you look at other teams that could potentially be getting a little bit desperate too. The other team that I think is getting a little bit desperate, especially today, the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens just watched the Philadelphia Eagles make Jalen Hurts, a mobile quarterback, the highest paid quarterback in the league. Lamar's been sitting there being like, well, wait a minute, let's get something done. Lamar also apparently said that if you can get Odell Beckham Jr. and you can get DeAndre Hopkins, we'll talk. Well, the Eagles just moved the chess piece. It's time now for Baltimore to get their franchise quarterback under contract, stop with all this drama, go get DeAndre Hopkins. So in this scenario, I have the Cardinals taking advantage of an opportunity, and I have Baltimore moving back in the second round. So they're going to go Arizona up to 22, Ravens go back to 34. They also get a fourth round pick at 105, but you get DeAndre Hopkins on top of that. So yeah, I do think that you probably lose the value from 22, 34 to 105, but you make your franchise quarterback happy and going out and getting him a star-studded receiver in Hopkins. So who wins this deal? Is it the Cardinals or is it the Baltimore Ravens? Please let me know down in the comments section right now. So before I head on out of here, I got five trades. Let's roll through all of them. You're going to see up at the top the trade, the number, and then one, two, three, four, or five. Which one out of all of these deals is your personal favorite? For me, I'll just tell you this right now. I'm a sucker for a good player trade. I like this Lions deal a lot. Them getting Montez what I do really think helps their defense. Hell, even this Vikings deal where they're able to get Devin White more than likely would have to overpay him. But if he can go back to having nine sacks a season, let's get it. And then the Ravens here, they get DeAndre Hopkins in a massive blockbuster deal. I've seen DeAndre get traded before. And that one was crazy. This one I also think would be pretty wild. Huge shout out to everyone who tuned in. And remember, Chat Sports is going to be live for the entire 2023 NFL Draft. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure those notices are turned on because we are going to get wild. We're going to have hundreds of thousands of people tuned in. And I know if you watched the show before, you're going to love our draft coverage.